All right, this one's not like our typical one-on-ones with our Jaguars during training camp as I am now joined with defensive lineman Roy Robertson-Harris because, Roy, you have a very special announcement you're excited to tell all of Duval and our 1010 listeners about. What is that? Yes, ma'am. So um, we officially, uh, myself and my team, um, we have started a foundation, uh, Inspiring Inspiring Greatness Foundation. Um, We're going to be getting out in the community and uh, in the 904 and just trying to make an impact on uh, single mothers and uh, the youth, uh, the inner city youth, and just, just trying to be a positive light for, uh, for the, the people in the, t- in the city. Why single moms? Why was that important to you? Uh, well, I grew up in a, in a single mother household. Uh, my mom raised me and my sister uh, by herself. Um, 13 years old, she got, uh, when I was 13 years old, she got married. Um, but for a long time, I lived in a house with a single mother and my sister. And, uh, you know, I feel like it's important to give back to that, that household. How long have you been in the works of trying to make this a reality? Oh, it's been a while. Um, it was an idea uh, a couple years ago, but I um, wasn't able to execute. Um, I let football get in the way, but um, I feel like I'm in my I'm at a point in my career where um, I need to make some stuff happen off the field and uh, try and be positive in the community. What does your mom think of all this? Oh, she she's uh, she's on board. I, I can't wait. She's uh, she's excited. We're, we're we're trying to change lives here, so um, it's just a small step. We're uh, you know just getting started. I got a great team um, that's you know, doing most of the work, being that I make camp, but uh, no, they're doing a great job. We got some some exciting things brewing up, so we're gonna we're gonna try and do what we can out here in uh, in Jacksonville and and try and make this a, a better place. I know you guys are still kicking around, working on some preliminary stuff, but I know a golf tournament that yeah, that's in the works. A golf tournament is in the works. Uh, being a, a, a new lover of golf, um, try and get some some guys out. We're gonna have a golf tournament later on uh, once the season's finished. Um, so that's that's in the works. Um, gonna do a turkey drive uh thanksgiving and then christmas we're gonna get some some stuff going and uh try and feed some homeless some homeless people get out to some shelters and and uh just try and feed some people get out there and just do something positive all right before we get to a few football questions let our folks at home know how can they get involved with inspiring greatness all right inspiring greatness foundation.org you guys can go to the link donate if you if you feel up to it um but uh yeah that's that's where you can uh get to the link and donate some uh some money and um it's gonna go to something great it's gonna be something big uh, we're just getting started we're small town right now but we're trying to make this a national a worldwide thing you're inspiring greatness on the football field too uh if you can believe it i think technically this is like the last week of camp before that limbo yeah. next week how's the body how's the mind oh, as body, we get set body feels great um um, had a had a, a couple days off to to get my body right. Had a great practice today. Just gotta recover like always and, and get ready for Saturday. But uh, mine is good. I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready for week one. Indy's on the list, so first on the list, so I'm excited. Ice baths and then that Detroit weather, right? That's all you needed. Yeah, I, I had uh, I had some had some feels about that weather. It's, it reminded me of my Chicago days. Yeah, we'll yeah. take that 75. Yeah, as much absolutely. as we like our heat here no, at it was, 75. It was beautiful out there. I could had no complaints at all. No complaints. Let me ask you this, Roy. Join practices last week. We're seeing across the league now. We're seeing teams are canceling them, and maybe like in the middle of it, they're like saying, "All right, we don't want to do the last day." You've been a part of joint practices several times now. What's yeah. your What's your perspective on them? I think joint practices are good. I mean, we're we're here practicing with each other every single day you go against the same guys so it's a, it's a good look you know outside of a uh, of a game experience it's a good look to just get some work you get, we got some good work with Detroit and um, it was fun it was a good time um, you know we look back at how the game was last year and we just wanted to make sure we had the right mindset going into practice and and obviously the game as well and uh, guys went out there and dominated on, on uh, I was about to say Sunday but when the game was uh, against Detroit but um um, yeah, it's all. I feel like it's always a good time. It's always a good experience um, during camp just to get up against somebody else that you haven't seen uh, pretty much all camp. No starters, obviously, really going on Saturday, but golden opportunity for guys like Jeremiah to really step up. What have you seen from some of those younger guys in that room? Younger guys are they're doing well. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good time for them to grow and get their experience in an NFL game. Um, you know, it's it's a time to grow. Um, not too 
too much to say about it. Rookies, I feel like, you know, unless you come in and you're just you're going crazy and you're dominating. Uh, but, you know, it's always a good time for them to learn and get the experience and, you know, ask some of us older guys what we what we see and, you know, what we've seen in the past. Um, so I think I think those guys are going to be good. You filled me in a little last year about which rookies were asking a lot of questions. Who's asked some of the best questions so far of this rookie class? Ooh, who's asked the best questions? Uh... I feel like if I, I can't even call anybody out, just, you know, single anybody out. I feel like everybody's had had their fair share of good questions. Everybody's interested. Everybody's locked in. Um, you know, it's, these guys, are they're here to work. They're ready to work. So it's going to be exciting to see how, how everything unfolds for them. And you're ready for Saturday. Starters, one to two quarters of action. Yeah. You're ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's uh, I, I got to play, like, two series in Dallas, and I was – I kind of wanted one more just to, you know, had a good feel, had a good rhythm going. We got guys off the field, you know, on third down. So I'm excited to get some some more time and get, get in real game shape. We're looking forward to the game, and we're looking forward to learning more about the foundation as it continues to grow, Roy. Yes, ma'am, I appreciate it. Inspiring Greatness Foundation.org. Make sure y'all tap in, check us out. We're trying to do something big in the city, so make sure you lock in.